Hi guys! So, first I have to apologize for the way I look. Um, my hair is just a little wet and I'm not wearing any makeup. But I wanted to get this video filmed because um, it's my husband's birthday tomorrow. And I wanted to show you kind of what I did for his birthday uh, before he opens them. Obviously, I don't want to repack them and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I just wanted to film it before um, we actually open them. So, um, well, first of all, I'll tell you why I look like the way I am at one something um, in the afternoon. But I just finished running my um, fourth half marathon this year. Um, I'm trying to run 13 um, half marathons this year. So I ran the Heroes Half up in Everett, Washington today. And um, therefore, that's what I look like. But enough of that. So, um, what... Well, first of all, my husband's really hard to buy for. He buys everything he likes, um, and mainly he loves video games, he loves watches, and he loves jackets, and whenever he sees one or video games, the day they come out, he always buys them. So he's impossible, impossible to buy for. But I always try to come up with something clever, um, and this year um, I came up with the idea of... Um, so we take a big trip every year, but we try to anyways. And um, this year, uh, I think he's downstairs. Oh, come Go and ask him. Sorry, my baby boy. <laughs> um, so, um, so we do one big um, trip every year. Um, not always international. Like um, this year, we went to Disney World and Disneyland um, because of my races and whatnot. But anyways, so um, I got these. So I got these kind of boxes from, I know, they don't really look anything special, but I got them from work and I was like, well, I'll figure out what to do with them. And then I had the idea, well, what if I make him kind of like a box from one of some of our favorite vacations that we've taken and just put stuff in it um, that I find, whether it's food or knickknacks or whatnot. Um, so not from the actual vacations that we took, but um, some new things that I would buy that would have to do with with the vacation or things that we did there. So I'll kind of show you as I open them. But So what I did is I did a box for everyone. So this is for the U.S. So this represents our Disney, well, Disney World and Disneyland um, 2013. I kind of tried to make them look like um, the Disney writing. And then I wrote, um, happy birthday on all of them. Um, I know it has the stuff in it, but he's not going to care. Um, but so it says, happy birthday, babe, love you. Um, and this is in English because it's for uh, the U.S. So in this box, what we got for him, and some of the stuff my son picked out. So, um, you know, it's kind of fun. So we got him a little, um, when we went to the Disney store and, um, we got him this little, Peter Pan mug and it does say Peter Pan on the inside too so it's kind of cute. Um, Chase picked it out so I went with it. Um, then it was kind of a hard box to, to get because we love all sorts of Disney things um, but this is kind of a cute little vinylmation thing. It's um, called Zooper Heroes um, and it has like gosh I'm trying to think if I can tell Oh, I don't think they're any actual superhero, but they're just kind of made up ones, I think. So, um, there's that. And then my son absolutely loves Wreck-It Ralph. And so does my husband because it's a video game movie and he loves video games. So I got him this cute little um, Wreck-It Ralph shirt, which I thought it was really cute. So, um, and I think it was on sale too, so it was cool. So that is all that I got for the Disney box. And, like I said, it's not like, um, sorry, I just don't really look good right now. But anyways, <laughs> um, like I said, it's nothing expensive or nothing fancy. It's just things that would remind him of um, a trip there, which I think this would do. Uh, next is our, um, got cat hair everywhere. Um, if you can't tell by the flags on this one, this was a Scandinavia trip. So we went to, uh, 
Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Um, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I have two cats and the hair goes everywhere. Um, so I wrote um, happy birthday in all those languages. I googled it. Of course, I don't know what it is. So, um, so there's that. And I don't know which one is which. I want to say that's Icelandic. I want to say that's Swedish, that's Norwegian, and that's Danish. I don't know. You'll probably know more than I do. But rather than doing all separate boxes for each of them, because I was kind of limited or how many I had, so I kind of did all in one, and I hope I can fit them back in here. <laughs> Um, so, um, for Iceland, I found this little Iceland natural springs water. Let, you know. Anyways, that was kind of cute. Had said Iceland on it. And then I got him this, uh, from Harry and David. I got this little moose munch to represent Norway. Goes moose, Norway. And actually, I didn't get anything for Sweden, but I was kind of tied in this box. But, um... And then we went to Legoland when we were there, so I got him a little, well, I sent this one out as well, so I got him a little Star Wars, I love Star Wars. I'll be right out! Uh, Star Wars Lego box, so that's that. I don't know if I can get it back closed now, this is a tight one. Next is, and I think I screwed up the flags for these ones, because I, I'll be right there. Huh? I'll be right there. Don't come in. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so this one, it either goes this way or it either goes that way. You tell me. But it's Italy. Um, Buon compleanno. Happy birthday in Italian. I don't even remember where I put half of these boxes anymore. It's been kind of a while. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> this is kind of a weird one. But, I got him Nutella. We basically lived on this thing. And I was pregnant when we went there. So, a little Nutella box with um, the things in it. And then I got um, a gnocchi. And I got these all from uh, World Market because it doesn't have to be refrigerated. So I got a gnocchi because he loves gnocchi. And with, to go with that, I got him little... Um, it says Italian. I have some pesto kind of sauce so we can make that one night. And a little salami Milano. So I had Milano on it. I don't know. Uh, oh, and then these two little, um, these were one of my favorite things again. Sorry, my watch is beeping. Bocce candies. And last but not least, we when we went to Italy, we went to this island called Murano. And um, in Seattle here, we have something called... Um, glassy baby and this really reminded me of it um so i got him it reminded me of murano glass but it's not obviously but it's something very similar so it's this little candle holder there's a candle inside um but i just thought it was so beautiful or you could also use it as a drinking glass as well but um and blue is his favorite color so i really thought that that was really um really pretty and the company is called glassy baby um, oh, they do have a store in New York as well, Seattle, Bellevue, and New York, um, but I absolutely love this store, it's expensive, um, but, um, I really thought it would be kind of cute, um, to remind him of the time there. Sorry, the box I really had to close. Next is, I don't know if you can tell, uh, turkey. That way. <laughs> um, and that says, um, happy birthday in Turkish. This was a really hard one, too. You wouldn't think that it would that it would be, but it was. Um, so I kind of, these are weird. But 
I think you'll love them. Um, so I got him from, there's a store called Fireworks here, um, sells kind of all sorts of things. So I got him this little travel kit because he does travel a lot, but also goes with the traveling that we did. Um, then I got him, we went to a Turkish a bath, I guess they call it, but it's kind of like a sauna when we were there. So I went to Whole Foods and I got him this little thing of soap. My son also picked this one out as well. I think what it smells like, but it doesn't really smell. Doesn't really smell like much. It's not really citrusy. I, I expected it to be citrusy, but it's not. And then they really love like natural kind of loofahs, so I got him um, one of those. Um, it'll make sense to him, I guess, because we were there. And then at fireworks, they also find this found this bowl. It really reminded me of this kind of things that they sell in Turkey, at, like little tiles and, and blue and so forth. So I got this little bowl for him. Um, just really reminded me of, um, I think this is the artist, of um, the things that we saw there. Um, and I really loved it. I think it will as well. Um, and then at World Market again, I just found this little Turkish delight. One with a Turkish theme, why not? And they do sell candies like that there. And Turkish taffy. So, kind of that for this box. Um, I can close this one. Oops. Don't forget anything. Alright, next. Sorry. Keep asking on the way. There we go. Next is. So this is the other flag, um, either this way or that way. Uh, it is for Ireland, so if you can tell that. Uh, so that's actually, well, Ireland obviously they speak English, but this is in um, uh, Gaelic. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun because we did see some um, things written in Gaelic a lot there. So that would be kind of fun rather than just doing another English one, you know. Uh, this was another really hard box because... Irish stuff is uh, it's hard to find, but I put together kind of like a little, anyways, you'll see. Um, so I thought this was cute. I don't know if you'll like it or not, but you'll think it's thoughtful. Um, so it's uh, a little good luck. Um, everything you need inside, grow me. Grow me a lucky clover so you can grow your own lucky clovers. I just thought it was kind of cute. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got him a little thing of Lucky Charms. Irish, right? I'll remind him of Ireland anyways. Uh, I got him this little Irish Myths and Legends book from Barnes and Nobles. Um, bottles. You know what's coming probably, don't you? Uh, Jack Daniels Whiskey Praline Pecans. Jack Daniels is obviously not from Ireland, Tennessee, but it reminded me of the, because they, they have some great, great uh, whiskey and they have the factories over there and stuff, just reminded me of Ireland, just because of whiskey. And this is probably what you think that it was, yes, it's a bottle of Guinness, and it's hard to find this in bottles, by the way, that's how they sell them in Ireland. Um, but I found it at Whole Foods, I believe. So I had to get it. And then, um, this is kind of weird, but it has to do with something that we saw there. Um, I got him this little bottle of, this is sparkling strawberry peach water, but it really reminded me of it, of Ireland, because when we were there, they were hanging it, um, some sort of a, some had leak in, leaked into the water or whatever, so the water from the tap was not drinkable. Um, so all the hotels, so all the hotels provided um, uh, bottled water, and this is the kind of bottle. Well, it came like in the bottle like this, just blue, and um, it was all in glass bottles, and uh, it was kind of fun. We ended up bringing a bunch of the empty ones home because um, it was so pretty looking, and it just reminded me of it. So um, I don't know if he's gonna remember that. Probably not, but um, anyways, I got it. And then I got him, so it's really hard to see, and I don't really want to open it because it's kind of taped pretty, but 
I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's the little four leaf clover. No. Yeah, it's a lucky clover, um, kind of a coin. I think it's a four leaf clover. And then I got him also this little um, guardian angel thing. I don't know. That was kind of fun. And it was fitting with the Irish theme, I thought. Um, so let me just stuff these back in here. boxes are tough because they close and the things have to go inside and if you have stuff blocking away then they won't close all the way um so this is a Australia box it's English so just happy birthday blow because it's from Australia so I do have a um, piece missing from here um, it's due to come tomorrow and tomorrow's his birthday so I hope it's gonna be here on time but I made a little memory book um, of all of our pictures from um, that vacation because um, it was really hard to buy for us so I did one of those um, so hopefully he'll be here I'm sorry I can't show it to you um, I don't have it yet but I did find a couple things um, I found these little nano blocks it's a koala. thought it was appropriate. I think that's also from fireworks. And then I got these cute little erasers. One is a kangaroo and one is a koala. Uh, as you can tell, they're blue. They're my husband's favorite color and my son's favorite color, so he picked them up. Therefore, they're blue. And then um, I got him this Looney Tunes. Um, yeah, I haven't seen Looney Tunes in a long time, but... Um, as a Tasmanian devil in it, I was looking for one that just a Tasmanian devil in it, but um, I wasn't able to get my hands on it um, in such short notice that I needed it. Um, so I got one um, that had all of them, but it does have the Tasmanian devil, and Tasmanian devil is from Australia. Tasmania devil, you know where I'm going with it. So that's kind of a small one. Um, there's one more thing I'll add to this one that hopefully I'll get tomorrow. Only two more boxes, so it's not bad. So this one, um, probably a lot of you won't know. The bottom color is supposed to be white, but it doesn't color white, obviously. But that is Estonia. That's where I'm from. So it's a Fire Missing box. That's in Estonian. Um, that's where we met. That's where we got married. And yeah, in case you didn't know. So this one, you know, this one wasn't easy as well. Um, not very many Estonian things, but if you know where Estonia is, it's right next to Russia. And um, my husband was a Peace Corps volunteer there, and he ended up speaking, learning Russian, and speaking Russian, obviously, because um, the city where I'm from is um, right next to um, Russia. So, um, so I found these little <laughs> matryoshkas. Um, they're actually measuring cups, so I kind of thought we'll get dual use out of them, but um, I thought they were cute, and then you can just use them like that to measure things with, but um, it reminds me of, um, of home. Um, I know they're Russian, but um, he'll know that that's what it is. That's the only thing I could find. There was literally like nothing Estonian, obviously, um, around here that I can find. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, bounty bars, if you know what those are, you can find them at World Market. But um, it's kind of like an almond joy without the almonds. Um, Mars bar, also can't find it really anywhere except for World Market. And his favorite, absolutely favorite candy bar there. Well, this one and some other one that you can't find here, but Dame Bars. So that'll be a big hit for them. And then, oh, and then one more little, another little Russia Matryoshka little tweezers. I thought they were cute. And then, um, I really like this book, and he's really into, um, into kind of books and, um, and reading about different things and this is ultimate experiences which is really cool because it's like um, I'm trying to think oh the reason why I put it in an Estonian box though because Estonia is represented that's right you wouldn't think that it was but it is and I will show you 
and you will just die of what it's represented by. I'm not even kidding you. It's so funny. Like ultimate sailing tip. Trips. So that's one of, that's not Estonia, but that's kind of like what it is about. It's kind of fun. Uh, sorry. Thought I had it, but apparently not. What page is it? Estonia. Oh, 323. So here we go. See, it has a whole page picture of the bar. And here's a small little, let's see if I can get the whole thing here. Snippet about it. It is a Depeche Mode bar in Thailand, Estonia. Believe it or not, it's in Lonely Planet's Ultimate Experience Guide. So if you ever go to Estonia, make sure you check out the Depeche Mode bar. <laughs> I just thought it was the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, but whatever. If that's what they decide to put in there, well, I don't say anything, right? Okay, and one box, last but not least, is... And my son drew on this, obviously. You can tell. Japan. And yes, I wrote it. Happy birthday in Japanese, believe it or not. So all of those people who can read Japanese, I hope that's what it says. That's what Google says. So now I probably butchered some of these characters that has like a totally different meaning. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so this is the last one. Um, see, a lot of it has like candy and drinks in it, so this, so does this one. <laughs> um, we're huge, um, just kind of a little backstory to it. Um, we're huge Kit Kat fans, you know, Kit Kat candy. What is that sticker going on right here? Kit Kat. Not just regular Kit Kats, but different flavors of Kit Kat. So especially in Asia, um, when you travel there, you can find ton of different flavors of Kit Kats. So, um, um, so I was able to find mint, as you saw, orange, and these ones we have tried before, but I don't know if we've tried this one, cookies and cream, so he'll love that. And then I found some of these hazelnut cream ones. And caramel, which might be more common. I'm not sure. But anyways, he'll get the point of, of what I'm trying to represent here. And then um, the one and only beer that we drink while we're there is Asahi. It is a Japanese beer, and it's delicious. It's light. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you should. It's really, really good. And also, we have a Wajimaya here where you can buy a ton of... Um, um, Asian kind of drinks and stuff. So this is um, Ramune, and my son loves strawberry, so he picked out the strawberry one. But I, I really enjoy all the flavors, including just the original um, soda flavor. And they kind of have a cool pop up top um, and a little marble inside to stop the. It'll it drop down. It drops down when you open to stop the flow of it. Um, so it's kind of fun. So I got those for his Japanese box. So hopefully um, you enjoyed it and it kind of made sense of what I was trying to accomplish um, with this birthday present. And um, now this is, and you know, if you ask why I picked the places that I did, because it's, we've been to, we've been to more, more than this. But the reason why, I, I was trying to pick something um, that was a different language, so you can kind of, so I can kind of make the boxes fun, and that's my son drawing pictures on this one. That was the first box I did, um, and then oh, he did write Japan on here, so that's his writing. Oh, and on this one, on this side, um, if you know what it says, um, it it reads kawaii. And that means cute in Japanese. And Japan was the very first vacation that we took with, with us after our son was born. So he was, um, 
he was just over one year old when we went there, and um, all of the Japanese people were calling him kawaii um, for cute, so it was, um, it was kind of fun. Um, we did get him a card as well. Um, I already sealed it, but it's a Star Wars card, and it plays um, the Star Wars music when Darth Vader comes out, because that's what my son wanted. But I think he's gonna love it. So, um, so yeah, the reason why I picked these is because it was different languages, so I can kind of make the boxes fun um, with the different flags and the different writings and everything. Um, and oh, I'm gonna also I'm gonna make it a scavenger hunt, which will be fun. And um, I forgot in the other room, but it has clues as far. So I'm gonna try to hide these in the spots where. Um, where we have some knickknacks or things from um, those countries. Um, so like in Estonia we bought a painting there. Um, so I'm going to hide it um, by that painting and the clue says, I want to say, um, something like, gosh, and I'm blanking. Um, anyways, you'll get the point. It's a scat. So I'm hiding this. Each of the boxes goes to where we have something from that particular country. And then I'm going to have him try to guess and see if he can find them. So it'll be fun. Um, well, thanks for watching. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you can do something like that too. Or let me know if you have any other good ideas. Ideas. That's not a word. Uh, about um, different birthday presents or Christmas presents or any kind of presents for any time of the year. Um, or Father's Day. It's also another tough one to buy for. Um, for people who are hard to buy for, let me know because I am all up for any ideas, anything creative or fun to do. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!